I'm R.K. Pachori, Director General of the Energy and Resources Institute, uh, popularly known as Terry, and I'm also Chairman of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. And I'm delighted at this opportunity to talk to the youth who are so concerned about issues of in the environment and how technology might be able to help in solving some of the problems related to the environment. We have a range of problems that I think we need to sort out as quickly as possible. The most serious, if I might say, is the problem of climate change, which is not entirely strictly an environmental problem. It has much to do with our lifestyles. It has much to do with the way we are consuming fossil fuels and adding greenhouse gases into the Earth's atmosphere. And all of this is leading to very serious impacts as a result of climate change. And I think we need to sort this out. Otherwise, not only future generations, but even this generation would suffer very harmful consequences. In India, I think we've somehow developed uh, an approach where we regard the services that natural resources and ecosystems provide as a kind of a God-given right. Take the way we use water. Now, water is scarce in several parts of the country. And with climate change, it's going to become much worse. And if we're going to treat this as something that can be wasted on a large scale, can be consumed in a manner indiscriminate, then clearly we are asking for serious trouble. And I think the time has come when we have to treat water and other services provided by nature as something that's valuable, that has a price associated with it. I think this is an excellent initiative because by focusing on projects that students themselves can devise and implement, you're really creating the conditions by which solutions are evolved through collective action, through implementing ideas that really can be turned into pract practical solutions. And I think uh, this provides the basis for uh, collective action in different parts of the world. And I believe that the projects that are going to be implemented can really become models for others to emulate on a much larger scale. We really need the seeds, we really need the catalysts by which society can be energized in the right direction and I think the Imagine Cup is a good way of doing it. I believe there's such a spread of awareness all over the world and there's so much attention by the youth of the world on the environmental problems that we are facing, on the issue of climate change, that if we were to energize and use the initiative of youth everywhere through projects like those that will be implemented under the Imagine Cup, then I think there is every reason to believe that the problems that we are facing today can be solved and perhaps they can be solved beyond our expectations. Because I believe when you start a movement, then the initial steps are the most difficult ones. But once things get going, then you see a snowballing of actions. And therefore, I would like to tell the youth that are listening to me that you are really the missionaries. You are the apostles of faith, of hope, and of good action. And I think if you can lead the way, then the rest of the world will follow. And we would then have every reason to feel very optimistic about the future. Let me wish all the teams that are involved in the Imagine Cup the very best. I think the solutions that you're going to come up with, the projects that you're going to implement would really make a difference. And I think if you were to use your talents, if you were to use your initiative, then you would all succeed. There would be no losers, there'll only be winners. So I would like to congratulate all of you ahead of time and wish you the very best and God bless you.